hair transplant. We're looking forward to a really new look. So before that, the really important thing is to have a breakfast. So I'm gonna have my breakfast and then I'm gonna go to the clinic. Alright, see you then. little healthy breakfast now. It's not that I'm not hungry, I am. I'm just trying to be healthy first, so I'm gonna take some healthy stuff first into my stomach and then I'm gonna get some hot food a bit later. I'm gonna go get some omelette and some rice bread. All right? So it's really important. By the way, it's not that scary, I can tell you. It doesn't look like a surgery room to me. There's a huge TV in front of me and there's a light music. Um, so it's great, like I can, use, I can use my mobile phone later on, I was told. So the captain really relaxed and calmed down. So thanks for your hair festival and the team here. Hi, so finally my surgery is over. As you can see, I have my new hairs implanted. So, um, what you expect actually if you're doing a hair transplant with hair of Istanbul. So in the morning, you go to the clinic, you will have your hairline drawn by the experts, and then you'll be taken to the surgery area where you will be given kind of instructions what you can expect in the surgery day. So the first thing what they do is they will do an anesthesia, which is a local anesthesia. Um, so they will inject you some kind of an, a local anesthesia. That's the only pain, but that's actually bearable, I can tell you. And after that, you don't feel anything. It's painless procedure. So the first thing what they do is they will extract the follicular from your donor area, which is mainly on the back of your head. Um, and once they extract the, the donor, uh, the, the follicle, so they will take you uh, for a lunch. There will be a little break where you enjoy a lovely food. So I had a lovely food, by the way. Uh, it was really amazing that the people here was just really taking care of me. Uh, one important thing I think I would like to mention here from um, you know, the experience that I had from the first part of the surgery, they continuously checked my blood pressure, the pulse, which is really brilliant. And before the surgery, they actually did my blood test and took my blood for PRP, which is done at the very end of the surgery when your hair follicles been implanted. So that's actually really impressed me that they keep monitoring your blood pressure. If things goes wrong, there are doctors here. They can help you out with, the, with, the, with your health or with your blood pressure or with your pulse. So after I had my lunch, so then I went back to the surgery area or the surgery room. Uh, the atmosphere is not like really, you can, you can kind of um, a traditional surgery room with people with all a lot of, you know, stent um, instruments for, which, which is used for in, in surgery. 
they're mainly actually uh, three or four people. There's a huge TV where you can enjoy light music. Uh, if you want to watch something, you can, of course. There's no uh, uh, prohibition or there's no uh, kind of rules that say they you, you won't be. But of course, you need to follow certain instructions when they ask you to move your head a little bit left or right or up or down. That's, that's the only thing you have to follow. So um, after that, so one of the experts actually opened the channel on my recipient area and they showed me the, um, the hairline again before implanting all the uh, follicle. So once the uh, channels are open in the recipient area, um, then I was given a little break and as I said, every 10-15 minutes there's a translator available in the surgery room. They keep asking you if you have any problem, any questions or if you need to go for toilet, or if, if there's anything you need, people are there for you. So the last thing, um, last part of the surgery is the uh, implant of those follicles. Uh, so there will be two or three people will be doing those uh, in, um, follicle and putting your follicle into the receptacle area. Uh, once these are inserted, it may take longer time, but I can tell you again and again that there is no pain whatsoever. The only pain you will uh, you'll experience is the very beginning when they do a local anesthesia, and after that, there's literally no pain. So once your surgery is over, you will be brought up to uh, a consultation area where they will give you kind of some instructions, for example, not to look down, uh, not to bend too much, those kind of things. So. Once the consultation is over, so you'll be taken back to your hotel. So the day is a bit longer, but I can tell you they make you, or they treat you like a king, by the way, I can tell you this. So here for Istanbul is, is really a place, if, you, if you're thinking or if you wish to come for a hair transplant, this is the place you should come and consider. Thank you. So I'm back to here of Istanbul Clinic this morning. After my breakfast, I was picked up by a luxurious car. So I'm here today to get my bandages removed and to have my hair checked by the experts to see how the hair has been settled to my recipient area. And, uh, and they will guide me for what's, what's coming next, if they're gonna wash my hair today or tomorrow. So it's about after checking how the hair has been settled or the follicle has been settled in my recipient area. So I'm, I'm going to remove my bandages now and we'll see you later. Thank you. So my bandage has been removed as you can see from here. So there was literally no pain whatsoever. So they have been carefully removed the bandages, washed it a bit or cleaned it with the tissue. And after that I was told that everything looks really fine, looks really good. So I have to come tomorrow again to have my had washed from the front on the back and after that I'll have to wash it myself and in 10 day I think that yeah the 10th the 10th day I have to kind of remove these caps uh, with the given instruction they will give me more instructions tomorrow how I have to wash my head um, carefully and with the given um, shampoo or the lotion they will give they will provide me tomorrow so for now I have nothing to do so I have to come back tomorrow for a washing thank you So it's my third day of surgery, um, but, uh, so I'm back to the clinic and they have applied uh, some foam on where my, in the donor area and in the recipient area. So I have to wait for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes I'll be called in so they will wash my hair, um, the whole head from donor area to recipient area and uh, after that I'm free to go. So I have my hair wash done uh, just now. Um, so they have explained me how to do my hair wash. I have to be very gentle, be very careful with my hair for next 10 days. So they have provided me with a spray and a shampoo and explained me step by step how I have to use them for the next um, almost 10 days now. Uh, so tomorrow is my flight back to, uh, 
to Dubai. Um, so my overall experience was really brilliant. So from picking up from the airport, I was welcomed by um, the team of Hero of Istanbul in the clinic and I was provided a hotel. Uh, all the services from pick and drop from hotel to the clinic and back to the hotel uh, was all provided by a nice luxurious, uh, you can say a limousine or car. Um, an entire team was really, really helpful and they went out of their way to help me all the time, explain me, even in the middle of the night I have, when I text them, they always responded to me, which was really brilliant. It looks like they have, like they have taken care of me like a king. So I would highly recommend people who are thinking to come for their hair transplant, this clinic is the best option to select. So, uh, so don't wait and if you're thinking and if you want to change your uh, way you look now, so please do, re I recommend you to come to the Hair of Istanbul. Thank you.